Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Today I am planting Narcissus minnow bulbs. This is a very popular and very beautiful dwarf, dwarf daffodil and they grow excellently in pots and I'll be planting it into this pot here. I recently did a video about how to plant snakes head fertility into pots. I will link it above, you can have a look if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support it. Let's get started. Now Narcissus minnows, the daffodil minnow. As I mentioned before, it is a dwarf daffodil. It grows to about 15, 16 centimeters high, maybe sometimes 18. It's a hardy, bulbous, spring flowering perennial. We see it normally in March and April, and it's a very, very popular garden plant. It produces up to five beautiful, creamy yellow flowers on one stem and it has a really beautiful scent as well. Best time to plant daffodils is from September to November. It is the 2nd of November today, so I better get my skates on. Let's get started. Let's start with our bulbs. This is one of the minnow daffodil bulbs. Before we start planting, always check for pests and diseases, mold especially, and if you squeeze the bulbs, they should be really firm to the touch. If they're squidgy at any point, just discard them. This one is nice and firm, so you're going to be going in the pot. Minnow daffs like to sit around 15 centimetres in the soil, so I'm going to choose a pot that accommodates this depth, plus some room at the bottom for the roots to spread around, and these roots are going to allow the bulbs to take up water and nutrients. This is the pot I'm going to be using today. It's about 19, 20 centimetres deep and it is terracotta. I always use terracotta when I'm planting bulbs, mainly because the terracotta pots are porous and they allow water to be leached out the sides of or the surfaces of the pot. We want to make sure that our compost remains moist but never saturated. If the soil is you know, wet or claggy, there's a chance that the, bu the bulbs will rot and die. So we want the soil to be nice and free draining, that it can hold moisture but that also can let it go. So terracotta pots are a really good option when you're growing bulbs because they allow this to happen. You can cover the hole at the bottom with crockery. I normally just leave them actually um, or put a sort of tray underneath it, but it's up to you if you like to do that, you can. So I'm starting to fill my pot with a really good quality multi-purpose compost. I mix in a bit of sand and grit. This is again going to help with drainage. And I'm going to gently firm the soil down um, until it's about 15 centimetres from the surface or from the top of the pot here. Looks a bit good. Now I'm going to put my bulbs in. There is a bottom and a top to bulbs. The pointy bit is the top. This is where the foliage and the flower will emerge from in spring. And you can see the bottom here or where these old roots are from. That's where the roots are going to come out. So they go on the bottom and they go on the top. So let's put the bulbs in. Make sure that the bulbs are not touching the surfaces of the pots. Minnow daffs like to be about eight centimetres apart in the soil, but when it comes to pots, you can pack them in. They're going to be fine, um, especially if you want a full display. I and I do. Shout out to one of my subscribers. Her name is A, or his name is A, uh, who helped me with a question who, from another subscriber. We weren't entirely sure why you can get away with packing bulbs in really tightly in pots, but when it comes to the open soil, it's much more, I mean, it's better for the bulbs to plant them at this specific um, distance from each other in the soil. And A helped us and they said that when you're planting them in the open soil, when you leave that space, that will allow the bulbs to naturalize much better. And you're gonna get more flowers over time. So thank you again for that help. So it suddenly got really dark outside, there's a storm coming, so I've had to uh, use my phone light to show you basically how the bulbs are sitting. So if your bulbs are looking like this, you're on the right track. Now I'm just going to fill the rest of the pot, firming down gently as I go. Just fill the soil almost to the top, just allow a little bit of space for the pot to catch any water when it falls or when it's raining and also if you do water them this the soil isn't going to run over so this is about a good depth now now i'm going to give this pot a very very big nice long drink enough water to reach the bulbs actually which are sitting here the water once it reaches the bulbs this is going to activate the bulbs into putting down roots 
establishing themselves and then eventually taking off in early spring when it's time to grow. I know all my videos recommend using labels, just imagine me popping one in here because I don't actually have any at the moment. So where to place your pots over autumn and winter, I'm going to place mine in a protected position uh, that does receive sun, which is here on my balcony, this is where I put all of my pots. In terms of watering over autumn and winter, most of the time if you're in sort of the northern hemisphere, the, the winter weather is going to sort of take care of that for you, you don't really need to water. However, I would check your pots that the soil isn't too dry, and if you see that it's dry at any time, just give it a nice big drink. So that was how to plant minnow daffodils into pots. I'm so excited about seeing them in spring. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I send you all my good wishes and I hope you're all having a lovely autumn and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.